and you won't get spoken to People only see you when you up, then they notice you Trying to be a legend, crazy lines is quotable Only the real shall last, and I only know a few People when they feelings always acting emotional Ain't about a check, then it ain't negotiable uh -huh. Gotta show respect to the people that's posting you Soon to be on posters, posted up like the older dudes Now we aging like fine wine, right. how we supposed to do Peep the shade on the timelines, this time poster yeah. cool Shit is black and white like photos from a disposable Certain situations you ain't end up uncontrollable right. All up in their head, I be so confused I just brush it off, peep the shoulder moves We all got the same 24, so it's no excuse Switch it up, we could rap or produce The things you can't have is forbidden fruit It seems like people love telling lies on me They know that I'm the one, they got their eyes on me They know I'm here to stay in, yeah, I won't leave We do this for the fans, for your eyes only Welcome back to my home garage people and uh, we are in here two reasons one because it's raining outside and two because the new workshop is a mess at the moment we haven't sorted it out so I'm working on the 180SX and uh, as you see from the title of this video we are talking about mirrors I didn't expect to do a full video on mirrors but the more I dug into it the more people asked me about it um, from a few clips on my Instagram the more I thought this is probably worth doing and uh, at the moment if you are interested in a set of Ganador mirrors then well you're looking at either this option which is the GK Tech um, GK Tech Ganador inspired sort of mirror plastic cast or you're looking at this option which is depending on the car you've got two and a half thousand pounds for a set of wing mirrors which people are doing people are paying it's crazy I know but they're out there and they're doing it until now which this is option three and by far the best one if you ask me why do i say that because it's what i did this video is not sponsored in any way shape or form i saw someone on instagram doing something cool and thought i want to see more of that i'm going to support this and that's what i've done i've purchased a pair of ganador style mirrors off of these guys now i say style this is the closest you can get to an exact replica of what they were when they came out. If anything, I'd say actually, it's a little bit better. So to dig into this, we need to really understand what makes a Ganador a Ganador. Uh, and it's Ganador, not Gandador. You'll write that in the comments and everyone will be like, who doesn't know his JDM stuff? Ganador is a company based in Japan. They used to make bodywork stuff. Now it seems the only thing you can get is probably exhausts from them, um, but they are still a functioning company. They made a mirror called like the Super Style Mirror or the Super Wow Mirror or something like that. Um, and it wasn't too popular initially. It's popular in the 2000s, like most of these things lost all of its desirability and then it's come back. And because they don't make them anymore, they're so hard to find, then obviously the value whoosh, goes up. So what makes them so special? One, they were made in Japan. These are made in Japan. Two, they had a very good quality build with a cast base um, and a, a composite mirror. These have the same. They have blue glass, if you're lucky enough to get one of those. Well, all of these come with blue glass. And they came in manual or electric option. This has a modern electric motor in it. They have the fold style function. So if someone hits it, it's not going to go flying off into the ether. It's actually going to come apart and move. Yeah, it's going to scuff. So is your old mirror. So I've been in talks with this company for a little while. This is the first set in the UK of, of this style for the S13. Um, and I am excited to get them on. So let's get cracking. If you're interested in this set, hit the link down below. Tell them I sent you and maybe I'll get some discount off my next ones. So as you can see, we've got one wing mirror off the car already. And uh, there's a little bit of surface rust here I need to assess and clean up this. So I'm going to crack on with that. Also in the middle of doing some stereo work because uh, the old stereo, I managed to put my finger through the touchscreen and ruined that. And also these, I've seen better days. So some better ones going in later on in this video. Oh, mm -hmm. 
mirror is on and it looks brilliant. Massive thank you to the guys at Allsmart for paint matching this up. The uh, the original paint actually needs a bit of bit of livening, a bit of uh, rebuffing, and it'll almost be as good as the uh, as the wing mirror then. So next thing to do is to wire it up. So this is the original connector. It's got a five pin plug going to it. Um, three of these will be for the, the movement of the mirror and two of them will be for the folding action, which obviously this doesn't have. Nor do any Ganadors. So the main thing to do is to figure out which one of these wires does the mirror up and down, left and right there, and which of these wires controls it and will splice the two together. So just testing the wires and this is how I've got it set up. So the red one is going to the purple, the black is going to the yellow and black and the green is going to the blue and black. Um, I have been chatting to them about the connectors and because these are the first ones out, they didn't have the connectors on, but they have managed to source the connectors for this now. So it will be going on properly eventually, but for now to get it all set up, I'm going to solder these bits in here, wrap it all up and then we'll have the excess there just uh, to make sure we've got enough for when we need to put the connectors in. But if we look at this, we've now got a fully functioning Oh geez, that's stuck in there. Let's see if we can... Uh... There we go. Right. What make are the OE speakers? Not a clue, but look at that rust. Mmm, nice. We're out with the chunky plastic in this weird shaped... Uh, I think it's like a 7x4 or something like that. So that can go. And we're in with this wooden frame I'm going to use. It's actually given to me by a friend of mine um, in Japan. It's, it was made in Japan, I mean, it's just a bit of wood, really. But shaped exactly what we need it, and it's thicker, so we have a better sound off from it as well. Because it's thicker, we need to find some thicker bolts to go through. And then, speaker in. Fresh posh. Done. This sticky stuff, man, it is. How how is it 25 years old and still sticky, and still sticking to my hands and uh, my jeans? Boom, and that is it. Both sides done, and this looks absolutely awesome. Part of me was unsure how it would go with the wheels because they're a bit sort of 90s to 2000s, but actually I really like it. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you liked the uh, the mirror install and the sort of reveal of of those mirrors. Plus, I've got some tunes now I can listen to, which is great because before it was just you know Japanese stuff that was on the hard drive, um, which was cool. But uh, yeah, kind of listen to my music. So if you like what you saw, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and I'll make sure to make more of this content. 
Um, let me know by hitting the thumbs up and uh, pop a comment if you like the mirrors uh, or whether you would have kept it stock. That's it for now, guys. I'll see you real soon.